All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own authors page that will actually look in your Uscreen admin, see all the authors you've created, and automatically iterate um, little blocks here with their image and their name. Now, you could build an authors page where you're uploading your own image files, you're adding your own name, it's all manual. Uh, but the way that we're gonna set it up, if you create new authors or change existing authors, it's automatically gonna update this page with any new files, any new photos, any new names, any new people. So it'll all be automated very hands-off once you've got it up and running. So to do this, we actually have an API here that you can use to do it. And it's actually just built into your storefront. So if you go to your storefront name, mine is thebread.life, and type slash API slash authors, uh, you'll get this JSON object here that's gonna have all your authors. And we're gonna grab the various fields in here um, such as their name and their image and all that. And then that's how we will populate this page all automatically. Now, before maybe we get started here, I will note that this is definitely an advanced tutorial. I really recommend you have at least, you know, beginner to intermediate level of HTML, JavaScript, CSS. Um, if you don't, you can copy, you know, the code exactly as I provided here, and you'll end up with a page exactly like this. But most people, want to customize. Maybe they want, you know, four images here, um, not circles, they want squares, they want this to be a different color. To do any actually real customizations to match your brand, you're gonna need some HTML, CSS knowledge. However, if you're happy with just something very basic, uh, you can follow instructions and get exactly this. So, okay, so let's get started here. Uh, what I've actually done here, just, just so you know my storefront, I have the basic catalog, I've added a navigational item and I call it our bakers because we're, we're a bread shop here. So when you click on that, then you link to the pages, um, the author pages that we've created. So I'll show you kind of where we actually begin here. So under templates, just under customization and then the code editor, I've created a new liquid file for author list. And that's really easy to do. Um, you go to customization, you click on advanced code editor and we'll click new file. And, you, and again, you're free to call this whatever you like. If you're experienced, do whatever you want. Um, when you type in the file name, don't put .liquid though. Just leave that off because the file format will be determined down here. So when I save this, it'll automatically append .liquid there. And there's more options here. We're actually gonna create a, a JavaScript file and a CSS file. Uh, but let's go back. And let's just talk about this author list um, file here. And of course, I'm gonna provide uh, links to, I think, some GitHub gist so you can actually copy all this code here. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna create an author styles CSS file here. And we'll just actually call that here right above at the top. And then we're gonna have a little div here. It's gonna be a container class. We use um, uh, Bootstrap's grid system in here, so that's why you can call this container. Um, if you don't call container, I'll just save that and refresh here it's gonna fill up the entire page. So this kind of limits it to, to, to the standard 12 column system here. And then we're gonna have another div here and this author app is what, it's actually gonna populate everything within this div. And then we need to call a couple um, uh, CDN files here. Uh, one is this Axios, it's gonna actually read the JSON object here and be able to iterate that for us. And then we're gonna use view to kind of do all this. And then lastly here, we have our JavaScript file at the bottom. And so we'll call that last. And then just to kind of show you what those look like, here's my um, author styles.css. I've created a separate file. I think that's the best method here. And I'm just doing a, a little bit of CSS changes here uh, on this page. Let me refresh that now that I've saved it. I'm making the image round. And then what else am I doing here? Uh, just aligning this text in the middle. Um, otherwise, it, it lines to the left of the column here. But of course, you're free to do whatever you like there once you've got this up and running. Uh, and then finally, we have our authors.js file. So this is where we're actually going to use um, our HTML. We're going to put that template here. And you can see here that it's, it's just basically going to iterate this um, section here from this A class. So what we've done here is I've made it so that you can click anywhere in this column here to actually get to the author page for this particular person. So um, you can set it up so that it's, it's just clickable on their image, just clickable on the link if you want, but this is the easiest way. Most people are used to be able to click the entire thing. Okay, so we've got a few things here. 
Uh, basically, yeah, it's going to pull in the per first we've got our bakers with a little description here. Um, you can obviously type in whatever you like there. Uh, but below here, for the most part, you don't need to change much. It's just going to grab, um, you know, the person's uh, image and their title. And then if we scroll down, just some more stuff here to grab all that. And at the very bottom, this is the key part. Uh, I kind of showed you how to access that API here. When I provide the code, you'll need to actually take this and then paste it in here. Uh, of, of course, if you left mine in there, you'd get my authors, uh, which you should know that at least it's working. Uh, but paste your own link in there, and then it will automatically populate all your authors. Okay, so once that's done, there's one final part here. We need to go to customization and actually build the page. We Right now, we've just been looking at snippets that are kind of installed on the pages. So we'll go to our pages section and we're gonna create a new page. I just called it authors again, free to call it whatever you like, as long as you link it properly. Uh, there's not gonna be any content in here, right? So we're just gonna title this authors. That part doesn't really matter, but it's this template here. So we should see our author list. And that was that author list dot liquid. And make sure you show that on the site so it's actually public. Uh, but when you select that template, it's gonna look for it and grab any associated code that we've uh, connected there. And then you can save your changes. So how that works too is um, it's going to tell you here on the advanced section what your page URL is. And it's going to be um, slash pages slash whatever you like it. So if I'm a baking uh, you know, channel here, I should call it bakers. And oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to need to then change my navigation. And oh, uh, maybe I don't actually because I think it actually automatically pulls. So if I click that. There we go, that did work. And it's pages slash bakers now. So that's the quick way to do this. Again, I'll include all that code below. And for the most part, you can copy paste. If you're more advanced, in which I hope most of you are, uh, then you can actually customize it to your needs and to your branding and make it look exactly how you like. So hopefully you learned a lot and thanks for watching.